Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this week episode I would like to create some samples with which I will uh, proceed some furthermore testing showing you up um, how strong the fiberglass is and how important it is to lay down the fiberglass in the correct orientation. I will start this by presenting you the material as best I can. Chop a straight mat, we have the three axial mat, oven roving and core mat at the end. I will start by describing the chop stream mat. So we know that the chop stream mat it takes 50% of the load but in all direction because this is uh, the fibers are oriented in, in all direction. In terms of three axial mat, this is will take 100% of the load but in three directions. So if we pull in this direction then you see nothing is happening as well in this direction nothing is happening. But if I pull it like this then you see that it starts to shear. So it takes 100% of load in this direction, 100% of load in this direction and 100% of load in this direction. The reason I put adhesive tape on the edge is because it tends to shear and I don't want this to happen. Like you see it now. So I just stick some adhesive tape to prevent this to happen. And the oven roving, as you can see, it will take 100% of the load in this direction and as well 100% of the load in this direction. So what's happening is if I pull it like this, then nothing is happening. If I pull it like this, then nothing is happening. But if I pull it on diagonally, then it looks how easy the shear going to be then the last material it's the core mat should be all the time covering chopped stream mat so you need to have a layer of chopped stream mat and then the core mat and as well on top core mat but we're gonna proceed the test as follow I will start by breaking the chopper stream mat. In two pieces. And the way we are going to proceed the test is I will lay down first a uh, chopper stream, stream mat layer. And then we're going to laminate together the chopper stream mat at the point that it was break it. And as well, I will start by putting a layer of chopper stream mat, but instead I will put it opposite with uh, the cutting. One is break it, one is cut it, and then we're going to test it on the opposite side and we're going to see which one is stronger or if on the string test it has the same value. In case of triaxial mat, as I said previously, the load force is taking 100% in this direction a hundred percent in this direction and as well a hundred percent in this direction the way i will lay down the laminate is also very important and i will lay it down like this and now we're gonna cover also that direction where we didn't have any force load like this Also, to complete the test, 
I'm gonna put two layers, one on top of the other, without to change the direction of the fibers. On the oven roving, I'm gonna proceed a test with two layers, one on top of the other. Fiber having the same orientation. And the other sample, it will be created with the fiber oriented on diagonally. So now we also have fiber orientated at minus and plus 45 degrees. Now on the core mat, as I said previously as well, I will start by laying down a layer of chopper strain mat, one layer of core mat, and again I will close the surface with one layer of chopper strain mat. For the second example, I will use as well the same materials and the same numbers of layers. After I will create the sample, then um, I will cut them and we're going to test them together to see how important it is to lay down the fiberglass in the right or correct orientation. I will start by applying some wax on my plastic sheet. If you are using epoxy resin that you're not going to need to apply wax, but uh, because I'm in a hotel room, I don't want to create any mess uh, or damage the carpet so, uh, or the plastic filament to, to be stick on my, on my sample. So that's why I just apply a very thin layer of, of wax. This can be applied with um, a cotton fabric. Very important is that uh, fiberglass do not get contact with wax until this is not dry. I will start by pouring the resin. I have here 0 0.5 liter of resin. for which I will add approximately 10 to 15 milliliters of uh, catalyst. Normally 10 should be enough, but uh, I just want to have a um, faster reaction because my time is limited. And also in the future, maybe I will make some videos with the same materials, but with different concentration of the catalyst, maybe 1%, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, or 1, 2, 3%, to see if, how this is influencing the hardness of, of uh, the fiberglass. Very important advice when you are mixing, try to not mix with a wooden stick or a stick that that's made basically in uh, from absorbent uh, materials because th this tends to absorb the catalyst and then uh, your mix ratio, it will not going to be as you calculated giving a, a very good mix. Always it's important as the first layer to be resin because otherwise it might be possible that your fiberglass to remain 
dry. So this is it for today guys, if you find my video helpful or valuable to you, it would be grateful if you consider to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Your subscription serves as motivation for me and this will uh, inspire me to create more content in the future regarding fiberglass and not only. So yeah, hit the thumbs up subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned until uh, next video when I will cut and also test all these samples. Thank you very much.